Today I'm going to be showing you the next step in my process for my watercolor month project. I did a flip through of it on a previous video and since the traveler notebook that I'm using has a white cover I decided I wanted to make a design on the front and I was just going to paint on it with acrylics but I decided I wanted to try watercolor. I wanted to show you this. I'm just going to take this cover off first. <laughs> okay. Um, some of the things that I was experimenting with. On this side of the back cover, I tried out acrylics with wet aid and some without wet aid just to see how it would react react to the fabric of the cover some of them you could see here feathered and i tried fluid matte medium as a primer and the acrylic paint without the wet aid worked really well and so did the acrylic paint that I used with the wet aid. They all worked well on top of the matte medium. Without the matte medium, it was kind of feathered when it dried. So I was thinking, well, I'll, I wanted to try out the watercolor too. I added some swatches, some s small swatches of color and you can see here a lot of feathering happened around the swatches. I tried the on the inside front cover, I tried the watercolor without the matte medium. And when I met, went to make the hearts, <laughs> it turned into like a big circle or oval. And I wasn't sure what to do. I was like, well, maybe I'll just make circles in the front too but I remembered that I had this watercolor ground so I went back in with a diluted watercolor ground and after it dried I did two coats and then I went back in with the watercolors and you can see how well it worked there's really no feathering that I can see like on the back cover so it, it worked really well. The thing about this watercolor ground is it is white. I thought I got the transparent, which is fine because of the fabric that I painted on is white too. So it was no problem. For the next part of this video, I'll turn it over. I'm going to dilute some of the watercolor ground and paint it onto the fabric of the traveler's notebook. The cover that I added the watercolor ground to has dried and you can see that here and I wanted to show the difference after it dried. This is the notebook texture of the fabric before watercolor ground and this one is after watercolor ground. I chose these colors red sands, green gems, and rock and red from the mineral marvels dot cards i decided to swatch them out on a piece of paper so this is how the colors look I forgot how they looked side by side. I wasn't sure how they would look together. So I really like the green gems and the rock and red the most. 
for this project. I'll probably use one group of colors on the front and one on the back. I had to stop recording because as I was painting the heart shapes, the pattern, the heart that I made up here started to blend out into the watercolor ground and it started to change shape. What I did was, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to add more watercolor ground, but what I did was I added water to it and I picked up the paint and blotted it out and then I went over it again with less water so maybe I had too much water on the brush when I was painting the first time so I just wanted to add that here so that you know what happened when I was working I just finished the watercolor cover, the pattern that I wanted to make, and I really like how it turned out, but I wanted to add some shimmer to it, so more shimmer, some of them have shimmer in it, the colors. I'm going to add some of this gold watercolor paint, metallic paint that I have. Um, it's not a Daniel Smith color. I got these as a gift, so I'm not quite sure who makes it, but I'll just add some little gold touches to the cover. The cover is dry now, so I will put the signatures back inside those are the ones that you saw on the flip through i just have to put the elastic closure back in place and i'll put each signature under one of the elastics here the elastic binding and I think it came out pretty good I like the pattern with and I like that I added the metallics gold hearts to the cover too and I'll just give you a quick look at what it looks like inside and that's the back cover that one and the closure just you just pull it around and it holds your book closed for watercolor month, I also worked on some paintings on paper. I made some flower paintings. I was practicing for some artwork that I'm going to be making on panels with acrylic, but I wanted to kind of work out the designs that I like the most, so I decided to use watercolor because I was already working on my project. So this is an iris that I made and each one has the name of the flower on it.
I hope you liked seeing those watercolor paintings and the project that I worked on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.